Hello Biotechnica, welcome back again to another video. So in this video, I'm going to talk about one of the important topic that's going to be which companies or institutions you can get biotech internships very specifically in India. So watch the video completely if you are looking for any internship in India after your bachelor's or your master's in biotechnology then this video is definitely going to help you. So watch out the video until the end part so that you will know which institute you can apply to or which company you can actually apply to for all the internship opportunities. So let's talk about in detail. Hey everyone, this is Caroline Green from Biotechnica. So let's talk about which companies or institute is going to provide biotech internships during your bachelor's and during your master's in India in detail. The first important thing is who can undergo this internship programs. Suppose if you are in BSc in biotechnology, if you're studying or BTech in biotechnology, if you're studying, then you can really go for it. So I'll be talking uh, very specifically for BTech and BSc separately. So suppose I'm taking it as an example. If you are in BTech, which year you can actually go and start applying for this internship opportunities. If you're in the second year of your BTech in biotechnology, then you can take up two months internship in most of the institute which I'll be talking about. Suppose if you are MTech or MSc graduate then usually at the final year or we can say at the final semester you you'll be having a project to perform and submit it over there so usually six months of the project is the uh, minimum duration we can say so you can start applying for uh, some internship opportunities or project training opportunities in most of the institute which I'll be talking about so whether you are bachelors in biotechnology in engineering or in BSc in biotechnology or MTech in biotechnology or MSc in biotechnology all of them have equal opportunities. So we know the importance of internships. Suppose as we know that as days moves by there are a lot of graduates coming out of the college are maximum. So if you want to stand out of the crowd, you need to have your skills ahead of everybody else. For that, what you have to do whether you are in your BTEC or your MTEC or your MSc, you need to have an extra skill from others like having an internship or project training in a reputed institution or some reputed companies you can go and work in under. So I'll be talking about everything in detail. So first let's talk about suppose if you are an undergraduate student, first let's talk about this one. If you're belonging to BSc in biotechnology or if you're studying BTech in biotechnology, then do you have an opportunity to apply for internship? Usually a bachelor's degree graduate or we can say the person who is doing a bachelor's degree, you can go for summer internship during a summer times you can actually go and uh, work in a laboratory and you can learn some techniques. So these are some of the institutions that provides internship opportunities for undergraduate student whether it's BSc or BTech in biotechnology. The first institute is Institute of Genomics and Integrative Biology in Delhi. These are some of the reputed institution if you're going to uh, work there for so long or for a minimum period of time it's definitely going to add up to your resume and you're going to learn something unique uh, that you will not be able to learn it in your college. So Institute of Genomics and Integrative Biology is providing internship opportunity for BTEC and BSc biotechnology students and this Iser Kolkata, uh, they are providing summer student research program. So suppose if you want to know like when will this uh, internship will be announced in each of these institutes because you cannot go and search every institute and look around and find out when is going to be the notification. For that purpose, we at Biotechnica has a website where you can find out the internship opportunities in detail. You just have to go to the site and you will find all the internship available in one shot. So so this here you can see BSc, BS, BTech and BE students. Whether you're belonging to any of these things then you can start applying uh, at Iser Kolkata for your summer student research program. It will usually be for uh, two months we can say. In Iser Pune also they are conducting the same. Usually all the Isers conduct uh, summer uh, students program for bachelor students. Iser Pune is also 
conducting the same and CSAR CM ERI summer internship program for BE and BTEC in biotechnology is also allowed and summer fellowship program in IIT Madras. So in IIT Madras there's going to be for two months and this is very specifically usually uh, each of the institute will demand uh, which year you have to be. Some institutes will ask you for BTEC second year, some institutes will ask you for BTEC in third year. So IIT Madras asks for the third year BE or BTEC or BSE. Uh, second year students they can start applying for this one and NBRI which is National Brain Research Center Haryana is also uh, recruiting candidates or we can say uh, putting notifications for people to join uh, for their internship so you can also go in for this and Indian Institute of Science Bengaluru it's also offering summer internships so this is usually for two months to three months usually for two months if the work is extending then it can be for two to three months uh, few of the institutions are going to provide you stipendship few of the uh, institutions will give you a free internships so during this two months you can work under without even spending anything or you will be getting a stipend also the next important thing is Jawaharlal Nehru Center for Advanced Scientific Research which is also in Bangalore they have important uh, fellowship very specifically summer research fellowship program and through this BSc and BTEC graduates uh, in the final year or in the uh, first year or in the second year can also start applying for it. You can look in for the notification when it comes. And here they are giving a stipendship of rupees 6,000 for one month. So during your vacation, you literally have a training along with your stipendship. Then this is a wonderful opportunity for you. The next important thing is project oriented biology education is also given by Jawaharlal Nehru Center for Advanced uh, Scientific Research. This is also BSc and BTEC students can apply for this internship. And here also they are giving almost 6,000 rupees for one month. So these are some of the institute which I'm talking about the most prominent institute where you can go and start applying for it. Uh, Indian Academy of Sciences definitely uh, will also call for uh, internship programs or summer internship for bachelor students. So you can look for many many opportunities which are actually available. Okay. So undergraduate students now know what are the institutes provide summer internships for you. And what about the postgraduate students? Yes, suppose if you are a student who is in MS or MTech or MSc, you usually wanted to do a summer internship program or you wanted to go for your project training, final semester, you want to go for it. These are some of the institute which are prominent I'll be talking about. The first one is Biotechnology Training Center in Bangalore, in STEM Bangalore. So here it is open only to MSc students because this is for postgraduate. So this is mainly a master's dissertations program. This is a master's dissertation program only they are loving. You can actually go in for this. The next is same Institute of Genomics and Integrative Biology is also providing summer internship opportunities for bachelors and a project training for six months or for one year. It is variable MSc and for MTech graduates also they are providing. And Iser Kolkata summer student research program is also given for MSc and MS students. And Iser Pune is also giving opportunity for MSc and MS students uh, for summer internship program and summer fellowship programs for two months at IIT Madras is not only given for UG graduates but also for PG also. You can see third year also they are providing uh, this summer fellowship and on the first year of ME and first year of MTech also they are providing. So if you are in your MTech first year or MSc first year or ME first year, you just have to look in for which institute provide initially in the first year itself. Some institutes will provide internship opportunity in the second year. So look in for so that you will uh, start your internship in some institute in the first year itself. In the second year you can go in for institute which provides internship in the second year also. The next is N NIT Rurkala. Here MSc and MS they are giving and NCC is Pune. NCC is Pune usually conducts two internship. One is going to be a summer training internship. Another one is going to be a winter training internship. This internship is a summer research fellow by Indian Academy of Sciences and this summer internship usually will be from for six months uh, one session will be from January to June another session will be July to December suppose if you miss January to June then you can go for July to December and this is not a paid internship but a free internship for you where you can work under a scientist. And Regional Center for Biology, Biotechnology, it is also going to be a six months intern research internship. This usually, suppose if I have to talk about this one, this usually conducts a summer research fellowship through IAS. 
so ias uh, indian academy of sciences uh, will allow you to work under rcb for almost 2 months the next important thing is summer training at national brain research institute if someone is interested to do a research in brain or then you can go for this one the selection also takes place through uh, indian academy of sciences bengaluru and indian national science academy new delhi and national academy of science allahabad so the selection will happen through three of these things then if you are selected you are going to be paid and you can work for a summer training at nbrc the next tifr which is tata institute of fundamental research this is visiting students research program they have a separate program where you can learn about what is research all about if you're a postgraduate student also for a bachelor's they are providing but you have to approach the institute or see the notification of course iac also pro provides internship opportunity for bachelor's as well as master's and JNCASR is also providing visiting fellowship and summer research fellowship program for postgraduate students. Suppose if you're a postgraduate student who is very passionate about uh, doing some research in some period of time, then you can go for internship in these institutes. So which will be most probably free or in other cases, you will also be given a stipend. Okay. What about companies? Suppose if you want to go for companies and learn, suppose if you, you don't want to go in for research but want to enter into some companies, then you can look in for some companies which provides internship opportunities for you. So the first is definitely going to be Biotechnica. So at Biotechnica, you can see CRISPR-Cas virtual internship program which is going on for so long and you can know about this also. The next Bioinformatics Advanced Internship Computational uh, Biology Virtual Internship internship, proteomics internship, chem informatics internship and every month Biotechnica usually comes up with different internship opportunities for all of you. So if you want to know internship at Biotechnica, you can watch out the Biotechnica website or you can subscribe to Biotechnica's uh, channel so that you'll be notified when the internship programs will be available for you. These are internship programs which will really helpful for your industrial opportunities also as well as for your research also so you will be provided this internship at biotechnica so definitely look in for the biotechnica website the second is biocon academy or bangalore so this biocon academy has uh, some courses which is very specially to join biocon industries as any profile so you can go for this and then apply and if you are a bioinformatics student or if you love biotechnology and you love computer also, then you can go and work at IBAB Bangalore. But this is only applicable for the final year students. Whether you're bachelor's or master's, then final year students, then they can apply for this internship. Then at Chennai, the final year students only, they are giving bioclones. And you can go for this company and you can also work. And Midcoin Biopharma at Pune, BRC Pune, Coron Biotech Noida and SHRM Biotechnology at Kolkata. There are many, many companies which actually uh, gives internship opportunities. This is in India we are talking about. If you want to know more companies which actually talks about the internship opportunity, then definitely look in for Biotechnica's website where you will get all the information of internship or about uh, short-term programs or project trainings, everything will be available. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to list out all the institutes that you can actually apply to so let's list out all the short term summer training and project training institutes together so if you want you can look in for all the website and you can check which institute is providing internship opportunities ccmb at hyderabad yes definitely csar ccmb will provide internship opportunity and dr b r ambedkar center for biomedical research in delhi also provides opportunity science academy summer research fellowship this also provides opportunity jawaharlal nehru university jnu delhi also provides opportunity biotech internship at csir indian institute of chemical biology at kolkata and some more short term trainings will also be given at nii new delhi and long term internship is also there at nb uh, nrcpb and rgcb has a project training and one year internship program is available at iser pune dbt biotech this is 
This is very important. BITP, DBT, Biotech, Industrial Training Program. So if you want to learn some techniques in industry, if you want to enter into, then you can definitely go for this DBT, Biotech, Industrial Training Program. The next is Summer Visiting Program at Iser Thiruvananthapuram and Iser Mohali and Iser Bhopal and IIT Bhuvaneshwar, IIT Guwahati and then Summer Internship at IIT Roper and IIT uh, you can go for IIT Gandhi Nagar and then you can go for Bombay. This, the next important thing, ACSIR, Dr. Abdul Kalam uh, Summer Training Program. This is also a wonderful opportunity that you can actually go. And finally, National Center for Biological Sciences in Bangalore also provides internship opportunities for all of you. So, uh, whatever it is, whether you want to go into a company and then you want to work or if you want to go in for an institute and start your internship opportunity, whatever is it, you can look in for this. The most important thing I would like to tell for everybody is you know where to apply what you want to do. But the thing is, you don't get all the information available at one spot. So that's the main reason I'm telling you to check in for biotech website. I'll show you the page also so that you can understand all the internship opportunity will be available in one website so that you can click on to this and you just have to apply for this. So today I was talking about these companies. Undergraduate students can apply to some internship program, postgraduate students and some some summer trainings and short term trainings and project trainings are also available for you. So let's now talk about the website of Biotechnica which has all the internship opportunities available for exclusively for you. So this is the biotech internship and project page that you're actually seeing. This is the website. So in this website, you can see different opportunities that you can apply for intern position. So I was talking very specifically for biotech graduates, but you can see it for all the other things like what are the internships? Everything is available in one area so that you just have to click on to this and start applying for whether it's six months or one year, you can see NCCS project training, which is available. So you just have to go into the website so that you get all the internships available in one area. So, so that you can know which internship are coming on the line and you can start applying for this because internship is going to add up to your resume. So I believe that this video is helpful for all of you who are watching out this video. So if you have questions or if you have any doubts regarding the internships in most of the institute, then you can just put your questions in the comment section. If you want to know internship at Biotechnica, then you can also put your questions in the comment section and we are ready to help you at any point of time. Thank you all of you for joining and I'm going to meet you back again with an other video. Thank you.